Hi, and welcome to Some Assembly Required, brought to you by engineering.com. I'm your host, Torben Ruddock. Remember that hovercraft we built with a leaf blower? Well, today, we're going to build in your ideas on how to give it propulsion. We're also going to give you a 3D instruction set so you can build one yourself. Thanks to all of you for contributing your ideas on how to make the hovercraft go. From your comments on engineering.com, YouTube and Facebook, we came up with three fundamental ideas. The most popular idea was to take the power from the leaf blower, instead of using it for lift, redirect a portion of it to the rear, propelling the hovercraft forward. A variation on this idea was to take two leaf blowers and point them directly backwards. The second idea was manual, simply pushing off the ground with wheels or paddles. But that kind of feels like cheating, so we decided not to try that route. The third idea was to use a ducted fan like you find in an airboat. Whew! We would have tried to use a small RC ducted fan, but it wouldn't have provided enough lift. So we're gonna use a bigger one. Oh! We rented this giant fan. It pushes out 5,000 cubic feet per minute, which should be enough to carry the hovercraft and myself. Unfortunately, it's really heavy, so it's gonna have to blow hard enough to overcome extra inertia. Getting this bad boy onto the hovercraft took a lot of fiddling. We had to move the seat forward a little bit, and we also really had to play with the balance to make sure it fit just right. Plan to leave some distance between the back of the seat and the fan to allow for free airflow into the fan. Well, let's go try it out. You can see that this fan moves me. If we had a stronger gas-powered fan, it would be even better. But it's frustrating not having any steering. Instead, I just keep going straight. Well, let's try to fix that with the next idea. <clears throat> well, let's look at leaf blower propulsion. These little blowers can push up to 400 cubic feet per minute each. Now that should be enough to overcome the inertia of me and the hovercraft. I had to attach a 2x4 to the back to get the leaf blowers angled properly. Then, I attached the blowers with screws and metal straps. Make sure your screws don't extend through the plywood or you'll risk ripping your skirt. The cool idea in this system is the steering. I rigged up brake calipers from an old bicycle I don't use anymore anyways to the armrests of the lawn chair. They'll control the throttles and the leaf blowers. When I squeeze the hand throttle, the calipers will squeeze the trigger on the leaf blower. This part was a bit fussy. I connected the calipers to the leaf blower with duct tape. They have to fit around the trigger so that the throttle opens when I squeeze the hand control. With the leaf blowers idling, the propulsion is more than enough to overcome the inertia of the hovercraft. I had to get some practice with the steering controls. It's easy to get the hovercraft spinning rather than turning. Getting it to go straight again is another challenge altogether. Getting it to clean the parking lot, now that's easy. So, we can claim victory with the three leaf blower design. Not only does it go, it steers. Yeah, badly, but it steers. You can get the full 3D instruction set to build this hovercraft at no charge by using the free publisher app from Autodesk. It can be downloaded to your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Just follow the links on this page. Do you have an idea of something you think we should build? Please leave us your ideas by making a comment on either engineering.com, Facebook, or YouTube.